Man, did we get a crap load of snow. So I slapped the GoPro on the summit. Take for a little ride in the snow. Wow, that's deep. Nice. Wow. That's some deep snow, man. Even with the summit, hard to break trail in that crap, I'll tell you what. The road is pretty cool though. Woo! Nice, eh? <laughs> Let's see what's under there. Oh, man. Hey, 
that's a GoPro mount right there, I tell you what. <laughs> Oh man, gonna find the clips. Uh, okay, let's see what's in there. So much bad for just firing all the snow right down the side of there, eh? That was a uh, five cell lipo. You wouldn't know it because I was just full throttle milking it and just spinning it crap, but yeah, that was five cell lipo. Gives it a little more giddy up go, that's for sure, and uh, you can get away with five cell on the stock setup. This is totally stock setup. Um, stock motor, stock everything, stock ESC, stock servos, blah blah blah. Uh, and yeah, I sometimes I run a five cell, sometimes four cell, sometimes five cell, just for the heck of it. So that was a so I got a three cell on one side and a two cell on the other side. Both uh, one's a 42, one's a 5,000. You gotta watch that, of course. You know, I mean, uh, especially if you don't have the lipo cut off, uh, you know, and you're running two different types of bats. You know, if you know how long you usually run, you know, I, you got to base it off of that. As soon as you notice a drop in performance, anything like that, stop. Because, yeah, you'll, you'll wreck your lipos. So if you don't know lipos and you're not sure how they behave and stuff like that, you should have a lipo cut off, you, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, because otherwise you're going to wreck your batteries. Once you get to know them, then it's a different story, you know. Uh, you know how they behave and, and what's going on and stuff. But anyway, you should melt them down quick, eh? It's toasting here. Get a rip. That was awesome, man. <laughs> nice. So there you go, that's what I just ran in there. So you can see I'm mixing C ratings and everything. So I've got a 4200 35C uh, 3S LiPo and a 5000 watt 25C 2S LiPo. So, you know, it's not recommended, I suppose. You shouldn't mix types and ratings and blah, 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 but. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm just that guy, I guess. Anyway, this little three cell lipo here, that's powering the uh, just the underglow, the blue lights that I have underneath that's 12 volt uh, automotive lighting from good old Walmart, man. And uh, the rest of it, I've just spliced in the lights off of the summit, or the top kick body. You can see I've just spliced them into the rear uh, wiring here, like the rear stock wiring setup. So, yeah, simple. So. Anyway, there it is, a little snow bashing. Woohoo!